All right, guys, we're going to be mangrove snapper fishing today, and here's what we're using. Samano Sedona 2500, 30 pound braid, uh, calico jack rod, just getting the job done. It's rated 7 to 18 pound, and then we're using 20 pound ghost wire fluorocarbon leader, guys. Amazing leader, it gets the job done. Super abrasion resistant, my favorite for, especially when fishing tight to structure like this. So all we're going to do is drop in and get the day started with a little size 2 J hook and a uh, 3 4 ounce weight. So let's get right into the action. All right, guys, basically all I'm doing right now is cutting up some chum. We got a ton of thread fins, and all I'm gonna do is cut them up, throw them in for chum, guys. This is how you attract the mangrove snapper and get them really fired up. This is the way right here, guys. Throw. Chum, 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 chum. Just like that. I do three pieces, made a lot of thread fins today, and just throw them next to the bridge. We want these mangrove snappers to become very aggressive, and we want the bigger ones to come out for food. Surprise, surprise. A gag grouper came up in the chum. Look at that. I knew he was a little bit too strong to be a mangrove snapper. Guys, gag grouper in Tampa Bay are one of the pound for pound hardest fighting fish. So let's let this guy go to grow. Bam. All right, guys, the part of the thread fin I like to use is just the belly right here. I like to hook it right through the bottom, nice and secure, and just drop it down close to the structure to try to lure those mangrove snapper out. As you saw, we got a gag grouper for our first fish. So that means we're right on the structure, and that means the mangrove snapper are not far behind at all, guys. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. That's a good fish. What is it? Oh my gosh, guys, it's another gag. Look at that. Looks like the gags are getting to it way before the mangroves are, which is a little shocking. Look at that one. He's been eating crabs. The way you tell they're eating crabs, guys, is that little blue fin right there. So let's let him go. feeling a little bit more snappery. Oh, yeah, it is, guys. Look at that beautiful, nice-sized mangrove snapper. As easy as that, guys. I'm not playing for keeps today, but this one's a nice, beautiful, chunky mangrove snapper. You can't beat that, guys. Right away, just chum, and they will come, guys. Mangrove snapper are the king of that. All right, guys, so we pulled up the mangrove snapper there, so let's see what we pull up on this drop. So basically guys, any bridge has mangrove snapper on them, especially in the fall, guys. All right guys, just as always, right through the belly. Little one ounce sinker, because the current here is insane right now. Oh yeah, oh, rip it. It's running for the structure. Another gag, guys. Our mangrove snapper uh, missions get interfered by all these little guys. They must have like, just spawned or something recently. Ooh, that was a smashy grab right there. Throw the chum, bait up. As I always say guys, if you're baiting up, you should be at least throwing two pieces of chum out there, maybe even four. That way, you keep on it. Oh, oh that's a good fish, that's huge. Oh. That was a big something guys, he broke me off. All right, guys, fishing up a little ball jig. It's a little heavier than my last setup. Let's see if this uh, makes a difference. I'm going to tighten up my drag because that fish, uh, probably a big gag. I... Oh, yeah. Good fish. Oh, it's a big gag. I'm not. Oh. All right, guys, I switched over to the yellowtail jig to try to avoid those gag grouper because they were kind of being a nuisance. So with the yellowtail jig, guys, simple, super simple way to fish it. Let them line out. You'll know when you get big, those mangroves will take a line really quick. I upgraded the nice Shimano Stratic 4 keg, so we'll have the stopping power I need. There you go, guys, drink them out in the 4 keg. And I cannot escape them, guys. I'm trying, they're even coming up and eating the yellow tail jig. Got me the structure, but as you guys see, I upgraded that ghost wire 25 pound and like little to no abrasion. So, oh, look at that. He just spit up a baby lane snapper, guys. That's crazy. We'll get, try to get that thing back in the water as fast as possible. That's insane. Try to save them. Look at 
look at that, a little lane snapper. I don't know if there's much saving him, but he was definitely a gag grouper food. And same with all this disgusting stuff. One thing guys, always keep tight with your bait. Make sure you're in the good. Make sure you're feeling them bites because sometimes those snapper can be pretty quick. Okay guys, so basically all I'm doing is casting up the current and letting um, my line just go nice and easy down guys. Trying to get those mangroves out, you know, they're kind of being a pain to get, but that's usually when the big ones are. Missed them. What? wrapped. All right, guys, I've upgraded a 30 pound goat wire. I'm done with this fish, guys. We're bringing them in. Because I don't know what it is, guys. I, it probably is a gag, could be a snook, could be redfish. You never know. But, or a giant mangrove snapper. But whatever he is, he's big and he does not want to be stopped. So I'm going to stop him. Ah! Here. Yeah, I might need to switch back to the bottom rig, guys. Because look at these Spanish Macs we're getting now. They are happy to be in our chum slick. And once again, guys, barely frayed. One thing I hate about Spanish mackerel is they're so slimy. Grabbing them sometimes. Let them go. Alright, guys, basically. You know, that's my last cast of yellowtail gig if I don't get a mangrove. Yeah, guys, super fun way of fishing them. But I think, honestly, we're going to have to heavy up the weight, keep it right on the bottom for the snapper, and crank down the drag on the 4K. Because the Spanish mackerel seems to be grabbing it before I can even get a mangrove snapper. So we'll see. But a lot of surprise catches, can't get one. It's got potential. It's got potential. To be another gag. I swear I can't get away from you guys. It's insane. I've never caught this many minuscule gag grouper in my life, but you know, fish and wildlife close the seasons, they tend to close them when the fish bite. Oh, come on, please get snapper. Oh, got another structure or something. Oh, there he is. Man. There must be uh, thousand miniature gag reaper down here. The water gets colder, coming close to hang out. Look at that, another one. Not even the same fish. We're on, and another gag. I don't know how I'm supposed to get away from these guys today, so I might just switch it up to the Spanish mackerel, because it seems like the mangroves aren't really in a bite and move. And and these gags are just out competing on the 10 to 1. Well guys, that concludes today's episode. We ended up using the Shimano 4K Stratic with 30 pound ghost wire leader because those big fish kept breaking us off. Sadly, only one mangrove snapper, but a lot of baby gag grouper and a lot of gag grouper break off. So a good sign of life down here. But the mangrove snapper is trying to push a little bit offshore, guys. So the next mangrove snapper video you see, we're either being in Tampa Bay or we'll be pushing offshore to some of the reefs. And if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week on the water. Peace.